Alright, hi guys. Um, I told y'all I'd put a video up of the game um, tonight. Um, I'm gonna follow through with that. Um, I made a video earlier in the day, but I ended up changing quite a bit as time went on and after I got home uh, from my from dinner. Um, I made my my video before dinner, um, and so I just I just want to show it to you real quick. Um, it's still pretty basic. Um, I'm sure you'll get some of the sound coming through here. I'm gonna have to mute my computer, but um, you'll get a basic overview. I can't control the player on the iPhone simulator itself only because of the fact that I can't tilt it. I can rotate the screen flat, you know, flat landscape. Um, and otherwise, so here's basically the game. And so, you know, you have a snake that comes at you. Um, so it's sort of like this. You, th you throw nuts. I don't know if you can see it. I just killed a snake. Um, stuff like that. So this is the game at the moment. There's a lot I'm going to change with it. Um, this is just sort of proof of concept um, sort of thing right here. Um, so if you want, you can restart the game, you know. Uh, all graphics are supported for um, the iPhone 4, too. So, that's good news. Um, so yeah, tell me what you guys think. Um, there's going to be a beta release in the next couple of days when I add something more than just these flat static images that are really, really boring. Um, it's a lot better than what I had before, but I have a I have a lot of work to do, um, as you can obviously see. The squirrel is quite large. Um, it looks like it got run over by a car, um, and the snake is bright green yellow. And actually, it moves at random speeds, which looks goofy. Um, so, yeah. So this is it for now. Um, tell me what you guys think. And yeah, I'm falling asleep, but yeah, tell me what you guys think.